Hello everyone, it is Thursday afternoon and I'm hoping to get this video done and edited and uploaded ready for you this evening. Um, it is half past four so I'm fighting against the light as always. I'd really hope to get a couple of videos done today but it just didn't happen because it was so dark. The rain has finally stopped so I've decided to try and get a tea time with Chloe done for you. I know the lighting's rubbish, I am going to invest in some lights. My dog is sneezing in the background. You guys know by now that this is this is just what it's like in my life but this is a tea time with chloe so i do have a mug it's a halloween mug today emma bridgewater to you know celebrate my lovely dresser in the background but um this is actually hot chocolate because we're heading into that hot chocolate season and i'm excited so i actually asked on my community tab um for ideas for the topic for this month's tea time with chloe and um, I got a couple of comments, which is nice. I'm using the community tab more and more now. I actually didn't have access to it until YouTube updated and um, changed some stuff for creators a couple of months ago. And all of a sudden I had access to the community tab for the first time, so that was nice. I don't know why I couldn't use it before, but I couldn't. Um, but I can now, and I often ask there for your opinions and um, what you would like to see, and I share when I've uploaded a new video and things like that, because I know that sometimes videos don't make it to the subscription boxes. Um, so yeah, I asked there, and it was a mixed bag. People either wanted something creative, or they wanted just a general life update, like wedding plans, New York plans, um, how I'm finding life after my degree and everything. Um, so obviously it's kind of difficult to do a sit down crafty video, um, but if you have any ideas for how I could do that, why does my eye look so funny? Um, <laughs> sorry, if you have any ideas for how I could do that, then let me know, but I am trying to include more crafty stuff in my vlogs. Um, I had a lot of scrapbooking going on in last week's vlog. Sadly, not as much this week because I've been a bit busier getting ready to go away um but yeah so i've decided to go for just like a little life update video today so life um generally i'm not feeling great i won't lie to you physically i just feel like in poor condition all the time i never feel well at all i never feel rested um i think it's something i need to speak to my gp about because i do wonder if there's something else underlying as well because i just never feel well and i feel like even for somebody with crohn's disease at 25 that's just not normal um so honestly that does affect my mental well-being as well and i've noticed that definitely in the last couple of weeks my anxiety has had a bit of a hold on me which it doesn't normally um mainly to do with going away so i'm super super nervous to go away although actually the last couple of days i haven't been so bad it, it got really really bad on monday night and i got really upset about it and then that was sort of like um cathartic for me to just finally get really upset and get it off my chest and say to will look i'm really nervous about this trip and then that sort of made me feel better and all of a sudden it was fine again so i feel a little bit better about that but i have been quite stressed and overwhelmed and it's something that I really want to get a handle on again um but I feel like I say a little bit better in the last couple of days just so tired all the time um but yeah I am excited to go to New York I don't really have any plans to tell you because we honestly haven't made an itinerary yet um we haven't been particularly organized but we are going to do as much of the touristy stuff as possible um and I will be filming a vlog. We're there from Monday to Friday, so I'll be able to do like a weekly vlog for you, but it will be like a weekly vlog in New York, so I'm looking forward to that. In terms of um, packing and stuff, I'm just gonna include that in my weekly vlog for this week. I'm not going to film a separate video because I don't have the time or the lighting, so I'm just gonna quickly like film bits for the weekly vlog. Um, so you will see what I'm taking with me and stuff and hopefully the weekly vlog should go up as normal on sun Sunday night, but we will see. Um, I do really want to get some more videos filmed so that you have at least one more video going up next week while we're away. And I also want to get a Patreon video filmed so that my patrons will have um, a video going up while we're away. And on that note, I've had a couple of people join Patreon, so thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. I've got lots of stuff coming your way. My travel albums are ready to go again. Um, and that seems to be something that's really popular over on Patreon so I hope you're looking forward to that if you are interested in becoming a patron the information is always in the description of my videos but there is no pressure if you just continue to watch and like these videos that's an amazing support as well so thank you to everyone subscriber and patron alike
wedding planning okay so there hasn't really been much wedding planning going on like day to day at the moment it's sort of gone onto the back burner a little bit because we're going away um but i have sorted out all of my bridesmaids dresses which i shared in last week's weekly vlog but if you haven't seen that i'll pop them up here um this is some of my bridesmaids in their bridesmaids dresses um you guys will probably know that i'm really good friends with daisy over at my green cow she is probably one of my best best friends in fact i don't know why i said probably she is one of my best friends and she's also a bridesmaid and we went down to see her on friday me and my mum and she tried on her dress as well so that's really exciting everyone has a dress now um so the bridesmaids are all ready to go we just need to get them altered closer to the time they just need to be taken up a little bit um, other than that everything is good with the bridesmaids dresses I just need to find my own dress and that's where the the stressful part happens I was so upset after wedding dress shopping that I have been totally put off and I just don't want to go again um, so I'm gonna go to New York maybe go to the gym for a couple of weeks feel a little bit better about myself and then go wedding dress shopping again uh, because right now I just don't feel in the emotional headspace to do it like I, I think I'm just gonna upset myself even more if I try and go again um, other than that we have actually done most of the big stuff so the venue is paid for well the venue deposit is paid for sorry and it's booked the registrar is booked we just need to give notice of marriage next month and pay off all the registrar fees but the initial like deposit and everything is paid um catering deposits have been paid photographer deposit has been paid videographer deposit has been paid because i am having a videographer which is really exciting so that i will have a video to share with you um otherwise i was gonna like ask people to try and film stuff throughout the day but i don't really think that's fair i want them to be able to just enjoy the wedding so um, we are having a videographer, which I'm so, so thankful for. And I'm so glad that Will was on board with getting a videographer. Um, so yeah, that, and obviously all the bridesmaids dresses are purchased. So that is like a lot of big stuff ticked off really. And I've done a few little bits, like I bought a cake topper and we haven't even decided like properly if we're having a traditional cake um, or having a cake at all, we don't know, but I saw it in Hobbycraft and I just thought it was really cute. Um, and I've made a lot of decisions about things. I just haven't purchased stuff. And I think that will happen sort of into the beginning of next year. We'll start actually buying things. I've been putting away jam jars and dolmio jars and stuff for the table centerpieces that I want to make and things. So, um, yeah, but as I've been talking, hopefully you'll be seeing some pins on here. Somebody asked me to share my wedding Pinterest boards. Again, I believe my Pinterest is always in the description of my videos. If it's not, I will pop it in the description of this one so you can go and have a look and maybe follow some of my boards over there. But I have been on Pinterest and I have been pinning things like a mad woman uh, to do with the wedding. So that sort of encompasses like life after the master's degree really because I've I just threw myself sort of straight into Patreon and um, wedding planning and things. And obviously we've got New York and I work as well. I do have a day job, I work in a school. So I don't really have like that much free time, but I have noticed that when I do have free time, I am falling into the trap of like sitting on my phone quite a lot again. And I hate doing that because it's such a time sucker. Like you look up and before you know it, you've been sat scrolling through instagram for an hour and it's a waste of time unless like, you're actually talking to and interacting with people it's just a waste of time like just scrolling endlessly through the photos and i feel like i have headaches a lot and my eyes hurt a lot and i think a lot of that is honestly because i'm still looking at screens a lot of the time like not necessarily my computer screen anymore but like my phone screen and my ipad screen i'm just watching stuff constantly um, so I've been trying to read again. I've, I've read a book last week, um, and I'm reading the sequel this week and I want to take some books away with us to New York for the flight and everything because it's a long flight. It's my first ever long haul flight. I'm very nervous, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so life after the master's degree is fine. I it's fine I just feel like I'm wasting some of my free time so I am trying to make sure that I uh, scrapbook or I read or something 
and not just go on my phone. Um, I keep catching sight of myself and I'm really sorry guys, I look so tired and it honestly is because of what I was just saying. My eyes just hurt generally, like my eyes just hurt. I feel like I'm having to concentrate really hard on looking at the camera right now because my eyes are blurry and it's, it's ridiculous. I'm also trying to do some journaling again. So I've got this planner, which is a B6 Neodori in saddle brown and I will open it up for you there it is in all its glory um it's one of my favorite planners ever it's so tactile the leather is beautiful it's got some gorgeous markings on it just from being sort of like thrown about it's starting to get like is it called patina or something it's starting to sort of discolor slightly in some places and I just love it I think it's beautiful um and there's a couple of notebooks in here but I really want to get a B6 Stalogy notebook, those big chunky like page a day notebooks and really start properly journaling again because I feel much better in myself when I do that. Um, so yeah, I just had that next to me because I was gonna show you my planners also um, while I'm here talking about wedding planning. Um, so day to day I'm using a bullet journal which is um, the lemon yellow Leuchtturm one. In hindsight, I wish I hadn't gone for yellow because it's got so many marks on it already, but whatever, here it is. Um, at the moment, my spreads are very, very boring. Um, although I did decorate a little New York page for next week. Um, and I've got like my packing lists and stuff going, but um, this is what I keep like all of my day-to-day -day stuff in and it stops me from losing my mind and stops me from forgetting appointments and things. Um, but a lot of the wedding stuff is actually going in my Kiki K wedding planner and I haven't prettied this planner up yet like I thought I was going to. I really thought I was gonna like use stickers and washi and everything, but so far it has been just like scribbling everything in here, like keeping track of deposits and stuff. So um, that's a bit disappointing. But yeah, so these are the main planners and journals. That I'm currently using and obviously I have my creative journals as well. Yeah, so other than that, I thought this video has been all over the place, I'm really sorry, but other than that, a couple of people have asked me what I'm planning on doing now. So like after I come back from New York and um, the wedding planning is sort of really underway and everything and I've settled back into work and stuff because let me tell you, I've been back for seven weeks and I still don't feel settled there. I just... I mean, being totally honest with you guys, I need a new job, but that's a whole different story. Um, <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people have asked me sort of like, what are you going to do heading into next year? Do you have plans for a PhD? Um, do you have plans to have babies? Like what, what is your plan? And to be totally honest with you, I don't really have a plan. Um, I would potentially like to be in a new job within the next year, maybe after the wedding. Um, we're trying to figure out how to do a honeymoon as well, like how to fit in a honeymoon. Um, so I'll probably be saving for that somehow. Um, but in terms of further education, I don't know is the real answer. I really would like to do a PhD. I don't think I'm intelligent enough to do a PhD. I don't think I have the patience or the dedication to do a PhD. So it would be a lot of debt to add to my already huge student debt. Um, if I wasn't 100% committed to it. And also in terms of having children, a PhD would take me at least three years at my university and I wouldn't wanna go any further afield than my local university uh, because it's already a trek to get to Winchester. So it would take me at least three years doing it full time. And to be totally honest with you, within the next three years, I want to have had a baby, so it just doesn't fit in with my life plan right now. And I kind of wish that I had done all of this sooner, like done my master's degree sooner and everything, but it just wasn't an option back then. Um, so that's the answer to that really. I don't know what I'm gonna do post master's degree and about looking for a new job and everything. And I think that that's okay, that I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that was a big ramble. I feel like I'm all over the place. Um, I feel like I'm falling asleep, so perhaps I shouldn't have filmed this video after all, but I just felt like having a little chat with you guys. Um, so, like I said, I'm gonna hopefully sit and quickly edit this video now and get it uploaded straight away. Um, if you guys have any 
requests for things that you would like to see in New York um, or things that you think we should really go and do, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. I would love to have more suggestions. I've got a big long list, but you can never have too many. We're there for five days, so it's a good amount of time to try and fill um, and we want to keep nice and busy. Um, so yeah, please do let me know. If you have any other video requests, let me know and I will see you next time. Bye guys.